optimism as a madness of insisting that all is well when we are miserable by Voltaire. Chess Mike. Optimism as a madness of insisting that all is well when we are miserable by Voltaire. Chess Mike. <laughs> Alright, so good afternoon once again to my uh, grade 8 science, uh, grade 7 pala, no? grade 7 science, uh, se grade 7 B science for CCDC. Um, this will be, I think, the second to the last topic that we'll be discussing for this week. And maybe uh, one more by the end of the week or maybe early by next week as we end our fourth quarter. Now, this is still in relation to the lesson that we had last time about uh, the changes in the atmosphere. And this time, we'll talk about one of the global environmental issues that we are facing right now aside from this COVID-19 pandemic. Let's go right away to the lesson. Alright, so the lesson for today is about global warming and greenhouse effect. No? So, I think you already have heard these terms before. I think even when you were elementary, I think we have uh, some sort of mga competitions for this one. If you have encountered like make, uh, poster making contests of trying to, trying to portray what is happening to the earth and what are the ways for us to save earth. So I think uh, you are familiar with this one. However, there are many terms just like this uh, uh, global warming term, uh, greenhouse effect, and even the term climate change, no? which I think is being interchanged or used uh, by many that they thought that they can be interchanged when in fact no they actually don't mean the same so later on let's try to differentiate or distinguish the different these different terms no and try to uh try to understand more no of the effects of this one let's go right away to the objectives of this lesson all right at the end of the lesson you should be able to number one describe what global warming is describe how the greenhouse effect works identify different greenhouse gases some more describe the effects of climate change on the history of the earth's development and describe the relationship of earth's atmosphere to global warming and greenhouse effect before we're going to start i'd like to check first if Everything is going right. And you can hear me loud and clear. Describe the effects of climate change on the history of the Earth's development and describe the relationship of Earth's atmosphere to global All right. warming and greenhouse. Alright, so far so good. No, Let's go and dive right away. To the lesson all right climates of the world all right so it's mentioned here that climate is the average condition of the atmosphere in a certain place over long period now i want you to differentiate or try to put in your mind that climate is different from weather one of the keywords that will tell you that climate is actually different from weather is actually because of the word long period. Alright? In this case, for countries near the equator like the Philippines, no, we have two types of climate, no? Or simply sometimes we we uh we call that one the season, no? We have what you call the dry season or the wet season. Or some at some point we used to even the term summer, no, which is actually the dry season and the wet season. There's no such term as we are going to use that one because we cannot use the word winter. So in Filipino, no, we call that one your tag init and tag ulan. No, for other countries above or away from the equator, like the United States, Korea, those are those ones are on the top of the the globe 
they actually experience what you call your four seasons, all right? So they have four climates, the winter, the spring, the summer, and the fall, or other term would be your autumn, right? So that's the reason why, no? Why is it, no? How does this climate affect us? All right? In this case, when you talk about your certain specific uh, atmospheric condition, all right? So there are times that it's kind of hot. There are times that's kind of kind of cold for long for a long period of time now how does it differentiate from weather is that no weather is what is given on this day let's say for example today is uh may 7th no 2020 it's around 1 45 in the afternoon and i think today uh we are experiencing uh some sort of cloudy sunny day no parang ganon so when you talk about sunny, cloudy, rainy, on the same day, no, that's what you call your weather. Pero pag tinatawag natin climate, no, that's actually how long. No? For example, we experience our summer starting from, I think, March until uh, July. right? Starting from August going down until February of the next year. No, It's, it's actually, ma, kung na, maulan na dyan. So tag-ulan. So that's actually your climate. Let's continue. Alright, so whenever you talk about your climate, these are the different factors that affect the changes of the climate. No? One of the best, uh, really, no? the, the biggest factor that affects your, your climate is actually the solar energy of the sun. Sun is really very imp influential no? in, this, uh, in this case. It's because no? it's actually the one that gives energy to the earth needed by plants humans, animals, and the rest of the living things. Now, when you talk about your, your sun no, and how it relates to the earth, oh, you'll be looking that one on the next photo. No, We have an angular position that the earth is not standing still, a straight one, no, whenever it's actually rotated. Hindi po siya makikitang nakatayo na parang ganun no, doon sa relationship mo. Pag ito yung sun, Yung axis po ng Earth, nakatilt po ng konte So, bale, imbes na iikot siya ng paganon, no? parang paikot siya ng ganun, ang Earth paganon, kaya iikot siya ng parang paganon. Alright? So, let's try to see a picture of that one on the next one. What other things that affects your cli uh, the cli uh, kwa, no? mga cause, causes? That would be your wind and ocean current patterns, bodies of water surrounding in an area, and the altitude of an area. So, the higher the altitude, medyo malamig yung klima natin, just like in our area here in Cordillera. Bodies of water surrounding an area, alright, so those actually living near the bay, just like La Union and Pangasinan, so iba din yung feeling ng klima nila doon. Alright, so these are some few of those things that cause different climates in the world. As I've mentioned, no, how it relates, uh, how the sun relates to the earth is because no, how it revolves and rotates around the solar system. There are times that today, no, if pansinin nyo po, try to look at, at around 6 o'clock and you try to see that the 6 o'clock right now is still bright, a bright day. Unlike before, when you reach at around mga December, no, you get to see that the 6 o'clock before is already dark. And if you're going to experience also the uh, how, how the earth relates to the sun in terms of other countries, no? they have different length of the day. Or I think uh, there, there's uh, the sun rays and the sunset is actually being affected by how the post, their position or the place is located in the earth. All right. Give, I'll give you an example. All right. Philippines and Singapore shares the same time. No? So, kung Ala un, uh, huh? alas dos ngayon dito sa Pilipinas, alas dos din po ngayon sa Singapore. Right? I have been there one time when I had my vacation and, no, do you know that it is around 9 o'clock pa sa kasumisikat yung, ora, ah, yung, yung araw nila sa umaga. At around 8 o'clock, madilim pa po. Pero, no, Ang alas 7 nila sa hapon doon, maliwanag pa. Alright? So, ganun po yung nangyayari. Dito sa Pilipinas naman, no? lumiliwanag na at around pasadong alas 5 ng umaga. Tapos, gumagabi na or nawawala na yung liwanag at around past 6 o'clock. 
So different countries, no, located in different places of the earth, actually being affected by, no, their location and the effects of the sun. There is also, no, especially in the North Pole and the South Pole. Do you know, no, makikita natin dito that there are portions here of the North Pole that are actually not being hindi na naaarawan at the times of the year. Do you know that in the North Pole they experience six months of no sun and another six months of all sun, walang gabi. Kaya during those times, no, kaya nga sabi ko, yung tilting din ng earth, hindi straight, no, paslanting siya. I hope nakikita nyo po ito, alright. So, paslanting po siya dito, kaya po, deep, deep, merong times of the year na talagang ganun yung nangyayari, no. And that case, no, this is how your, uh, the, the effects of the sun affects your uh, climate, no, here on earth. Now, when you talk about your climate, there is what we call also your climate change. Etong term na ito, naririnig mo na ito. No? Climate change is change in the climate that will last for a long period. No? Before what we're experiencing right now, no? Many years ago, if you have watched this animation by, uh, kwa, no? the, uh, yung animation na napapanood, no? Meron tayong tinatawag na Ice Age. We're in, sabi nila dati, na yung buong Buong Earth is actually being covered by ice. Ice yan lahat. Kaya nga tinatawag na Ice Age. Kasi nung panahon na no, yung panahon noon, no, malamig pa masyado. So that is what you call, considered as a climate change. Ice Age is actually a climate change. To the point that you get to see all ice, there's no trees, there are only a few, I think, um, organisms that are living by those times. However, it's not the case right now. When you talk about your ice age right now, does it exist right now? Not anymore. No, we're not already in the ice age. But right now, we are experiencing another climate change. This now leads to what you call your global warming. Itong sinasabi ko. Kaya, ano, when you talk about climate change, no, let's just get to put a note here. Yung climate change po natin, alright, Climate change is actually the general term, alright? Climate, i sorry, climate change, alright? However, under ni climate change, no? Under ni climate change, pwedeng ice age or pwede ding global warming. Ito na yung sinasabi nating differences, no? Malamig doon sa, sa isa, pwede ding uminit. Na yung panahon dati, yung climate change na experience nila is ice age. Masyadong malamig. Now, in our generation right now, what we're experiencing is actually what you call your global warming. Sumobra naman yung init ngayon. Now, maybe you get to uh, ano, be curious, sir. Posible bang bumalik tayo sa ice age ulit? In my opinion, no, uh, in the science view, you get to see that the earth uh, your sun is actually a star. And if we're going to study more on astronomy, you know that star has a life cycle. Oh, they, they, they are born. Then after being born, they are a really very bright star. And afterwards, as the many billion, billion years pass, no, dumadaan, no, they nagwiwiki na po yung, yung liwanag nila until such time, no, that they will undergo uh, either dalawa kasi yung nangyayari sa star. Pag malaking masyadong star yan, they undergo supernova, sasabog po sila. However, pag maliit naman po ng mga star, tendency nila nila is para lang silang magiging nag-off lang sila. Now they say that the Earth, ah, the Earth, the Sun is actually parang considered pa na small star. No? So, huwag po tayong kabahan na baka mag-supernova or yung pagsabog ng star na yung buong solar system is sumabog, wala tayo. However, Marami pa namang billion years siya na dadating no na na yung sun natin bibigay. Pero pag sabi natin no, since our sun is being influenced by that one. If someday the sun will, will kuno, stop shining. So or, therefore, wala na pong init na papasok sa earth. Anong tendency nun? Babalik tayo sa article of your ice age. Lalamig ulit. Ang mahirap pa dito, walang liwanag. So, paano yung mga plants na nag exist or uh, they're actually very dependent on what you call your photosynthesis, no? yung process of them making their own food by the use of the 
the light of the sun. So, yun, yun yung problema. So, then again, no? The major term is what you call your climate change. However, it is subdivided into two, which is, which is what you call your ice age, which is hmm, one of the type of your climate change, or your global warming, which is also another type of your climate change. However, let's just do away first with what you call your ice age is because it's not anymore that is happening right now. And we concentrate with what you call your global warming, which is actually the one that's happening right now. So then again, let's go right away. Uh, now to your global warming. Global warming is a period of global temperature increase. Now there are, uh, if you're going to look at in uh, in Google and try to see yearly, you know, how many degrees does it in uh, no? How many years does the Earth increase its uh, its base temperatures? Actually, kinda drastic, no? Medyo, uy, papapansin natin 2015 ganito lang yung temperature ng Earth natin. Pero ngayon 2020 na tumataas this one and that one. All right? It says here it's the phenomenon. When the atmosphere keeps larger amounts of heat than it should due to increasing amounts of greenhouse gases. Now, you'll be encountering another term that is actually related to your global warming, which is what you call your greenhouse gases or simply what you call your greenhouse effect. Now, your greenhouse effect only affects your global warming, alright? hindi po siya nakaka-affect ng ice age, right? So, take out muna yung ice age and let's talk about your global warming. So, ito po yung nangyayari, no? From January 2000 to December 2009 is the warmest decade in on record for the past 130 years. If you get to see the yellowish parts are actually the pinakamainit dyan, no? Meron pa tayong mga cool areas dito, sa, pero uh, kokonti na lang sila. Alright, let's get to go and delve right away to your what you call your global warming and how does it affect us all right global warming is actually affect different weather patterns or simply mga calamities na na-encounter natin no if you're going to compare before na mga typhoons na dumaadaan ng Pilipinas you'll not encounter typhoons like uh, very ano, very disastrous to the point that merong mga typhoon actually na nangyari hindi po yan mawawala Kasi nga, typhoon belt yung Pilipinas no? in terms of the location and we have a very big ocean on our uh, east side. That's the reason why no? lagi tayong nadadaanan ng typhoon. So, hindi pa maiwasan yan. However, because of your global warming, no? sinasabi ng mga scientists that no? habang umiinit po yung tubig ng Pacific Ocean na katabi natin, no? The tendency is that there is a drastic change in weather pattern to the point that typhoons are getting stronger and stronger and stronger. That's the reason why we have notable typhoons that we have experienced before that actually landfall, no? Landfall, yung talagang nag, nag land sa, sa lupa and yung mga area na natamaan doon talagang nasa lanta, no? Um... The best example that I've experienced when I was in Visayas during that time was Typhoon Yolanda, which is considered as a super typhoon, no, or a category 5 typhoon, which is around no mga 240 kilometers per hour na po yung lakas ng hangin niya. If you're going to look at photos or documentaries about your Typhoon Yolanda, makikita nyo yung paano sir, nasira yung buong uh, late, no, uh, the Tacloban and the Ormoc and some other areas beside it no at ang daming namatay doon no however we think that and right now no nagrise yung Tacloban nagrise yung Ormoc and that's the reason why no um makikita natin yung epekto ng global warming ngayon sabi din dito rain will fall in different areas with no definite pattern they say that as actually summer Ngayon, no? Summer kasi ano ngayon? May. Summer dapat. Pero why is it that we're experiencing rain? Which is actually nice. Kasi nga, right now, no? if you're going to look at the news, no? yung temperature heat index natin ngayon, grabe. Tumataas. And especially sa Pangasinan, ang init daw ngayon doon. Let's continue. One of the direct effects of your global warming is actually the melting of your polar ice caps. The North Pole and the South Pole actually holds the ice area is because sila yung less natatamaan ng sun, no? Not less natatamaan ng sun compared to these areas that are found near the equator. 
Now, what would be the effect if this this uh, ice here in the North Pole and the South Pole will continue to um, to melt, no? So, sabi dito, glaciers now start to move as they melt, which may destroy habitats of species endemic to polar regions, like your polar bear. However, uh, let's not talk more about your polar bear, no? Ang tendency kasi, no, is that the ice is actually solid, no? However, if global warming will continue, we know that that solid ice there will start to melt and will add water to the whole different water bodies that's existing in the earth, especially the ocean. Now, the consequences will be that those areas that are low-lying may experiencing a rise in the sea level, which later on, sabi natin na hindi sila naabutan ng tubig dati, tubig dagat ngayon, kasi nga nag-melt yung polar ice caps dito sa region na ito sa top part, tumaas yung tubig, ngayon lunod na sila. One of the most uh, critical area in the United States would be Brooklyn. No, yung Brooklyn. Brooklyn is actually a low-lying island there. Na pag nag-melt ng tuluyan yung polar ice caps natin, therefore, no, malulunod yung island na yun. So, ganun po yung epekto nito na kailangan natin i-preserve yung ice dito. Kasi din, pag itong lamig dito sa North and the South Pole natin ay nawala, it will actually this drastically change the weather pattern and the climate pattern of the whole earth. Now, as mentioned here, meron tayong endemic na mga uh, kwa, no? species like your penguin, your polar bears na nasa po, kwa, lang, polar regions lang sa North Pole and the South Pole. Wala po tayong makikita yung mga mga polar bears na nasa Pilipinas, no? Na uh, talagang naturally nabubuhay sila diyan. Meron tayo pero nasa zoo, all right? So Tama polar bear na ito, sa lamig lang sila kay Kwan, no? Sa lamig lang sila pwedeng mabuhay. If you're going to look at here in this graph, no? That's the reason why I've so mentioned about the rising of the po Kwan, no? The sea level. Ito na yung pagtataas ng tubig nung unti-unti nang nagme-melt. Ang polar regions, yung ice natin sa polar regions natin as the years go by, tumataas, oh. Sabi ko nga, baka unti-unting nalulunod na yung mga different areas. No? Especially if uh, those areas are actually low-lying. No? That case, tingnan natin yung effect. No? Sabi dito, the rise of the sea level is more frequent resulting to more flood. Now, if you're going to watch a really very nice na documentary, no? uh, many years ago, uh, the documentary is titled The uh, the Inconvenient Truth by Al Gore. This is actually, uh, he is actually yung kalaban ni, I think, the George W. Bush. Or, ano, uh, is it Bush? No, I think it's Barack Obama, which is actually a presidential ball before in the United States. Though medyo political yung dating niya, doon ko nalaman na pinanood ko yung documentary that because of the melting of the ice, no, polar bears are actually starting to get drowned or nalulunod na sila. It's because your polar bears are not actually built to swim on those waters for a long period of time. Hindi naman sila isda. So, they need to rest. However, because of the no, no more ice that they can land or resurface from the water, napapagod sila to the point na malulunod sila. Here is a picture of a very hungry, malnourished polar bear. Tingnan natin, no? Ito, wala na masyado sigurong mahanap na pagkain. Napagod na siguro sa paglalangoy kasi ang layo ng next island nung, nung ice compared before when it was still very cold. No? Kaya, ito na po yung kwan. Until such time na siguro pag mamamatay sila unti-unti, maubos na lahat ng polar bears natin. Alright? Let's continue. Now, the effects of your global warming, forests are more vulnerable to fire to fire and infestation. When you talk about the increase of your, uh, kwan, no? mga increase, uh, global warming, yung pag-iinit ng buong earth, no? some other areas, no? or some other plants in the forest, meron silang, kwan, sila, yung, sila yung plants na madaling masunog agad. No? In Australia, there is what you call your eucalyptus tree. This actually yung ginagamit nating eucalyptus na 
na ointment are actually na medyo kwan sila, no? Easily flammable na yung tree na yon pag nainitan lang, start na magliliyab yan. Eh, kasi magkakalapit-lapit yung mga trees na yan sa forest, buong forest na lumiyab. Kaya ayon nagkakaroon ng forest fire. At the same time, there are also other, um, mga, kung ano, mga pest, no? Mga peste ng, ng, natin, ng forest natin, even sa garden, na mas nabubuhay sila pag mainit. To the point that they get to eat and infest all those mga vegetations that we have. Alright. So, intense heat waves and UV rays may increase the risk of heat stroke and cancer. That's the reason why if you go to Manila, you'll encounter this one, no? Uh, mabuti dito sa atin, kasi what you'll experience is that even na mainit, alam natin malamig yung hangin. Pero in Manila, mainit na nga, mainit din yung hangi, simoy ng hangin. So, if you're not prepared at tabigla ka doon, that's the reason why you always bring water with you. is because there's tendency for you to to, ano, to to overheat your body. That's what you call your heat stroke. No? Yung bigla ang pag-init ng body natin. Parehas din ng mga sasakyan na pag nag-overheat titirik. Ganon din yung uh, katawan natin. No? So, for the most, pag na-expose na ka ng UV rays or the harmful rays of the sun, magkakaroon ka ng skin cancer. Alright, let's go now to what you call another, uh, ano, another term, which is greenhouse effect. Yung greenhouse effect po, ang nagkukos ng global warming. So, ano ba itong greenhouse effect? No? Kinuha itong term dahil sa term ng greenhouse. Now, here in Cordillera, I think we can relate to this one. Is that because we we experience or it's obvious that we get to see some greenhouse greenhouse, yung building mismo na nakikita natin dito sa area natin meron tayong mga greenhouse na nasa bahong I think, no, for plants uh, for flowers, meron tayong kunti dito sa strawberry farm which I, I live nearby and makikita natin yung greenhouse now, if you get to experience in a greenhouse try to enter a greenhouse and you get to feel ano ano ba yung na-experience na yung pag nasa loob ng greenhouse alright Sabi dito muna, no, before I'm going to answer that question, a greenhouse a structure that resembles a house but with glass walls, doors, and roof is used to grow plants. Greenhouse traps the heat coming from the sun to grow plants. Alright, dito kasi nila pinapasok natin yung mga semilya natin and other plants are actually really very no, ideal for them to grow is that First, no, they are protected from the outside and harmful uh, effects of the outside environment na hindi sila matamaan doon sa loob ng uh, tawag na to, loob ng buildi, uh, building. Tapos, meron din tayong mga plants na mas uh, they are actually better growing when they are medyo mainit. That's the reason why they are placed inside a greenhouse kasi pag ito yung building ng greenhouse, papasok po yung init doon, nahihirapan po yung init na lalabas. Kaya pag pumasok ka sa greenhouse, para po siyang sauna. No, alam niyo yung sauna bath? Alright? Alright, let's try to see an outside portion of the greenhouse. Now, in this picture that you get to see, no? no Ito yung parang medyo glass wall or at some point, yung iba gumagamit ng plastic. Pagpasok mo po dyan, no? Imagine there's the sun here. Papasok yung init ng sun dito. Lulusot yan dyan sa, kaya nga transparent sila halos lahat ng mga greenhouse. However, yung naipon na init sa loob, hindi makakalabas palabas. Kasi nga, natrap sila sa loob. That is now what you call your greenhouse. And that is the purpose of having a greenhouse for plants. However, if you're going to relate this one to what you call your greenhouse effect, it happens now to what you call your earth. The concept of greenhouse is similar to how the atmosphere works. Atmosphere serves as a glass wall that lets the heat in and traps inside while some heat is reflected back into space. This is what you call your greenhouse effect. Yung atmosphere po natin, ito yung parang bubungan ng bahay. Oh, yan. Yung, yung, yung cover ng house. Now, sinasabi nga dito, pag meron si San Jan at nagbuga ng init niya, no? hindi basta-bastang nakakalabas yung init. However, meron pa ring ibang lumalabas and escapes to the outer space. Alright? So, pagpasok yung init dyan, no, medyo iipunin yan si Earth and through your, uh, what you call radiation energy, isisingaw ni Earth yan palabas, no, going to the atmosphere. Alright? So, init na sun, patatamaan si Earth, 
maiipon ni Earth, tapos isisingaw ni Earth, tapos ilalabas niya sa atmosphere. So, merong naiiwan sa atmosphere, meron pong nalalabas until sa outer space. Alright? So, meron tayong mga gases na nakikita natin dyan sa mga uh, tawag natin sa atmosphere na sila yung nagkatrap ng init. One of them is what you call your carbon dioxide. No? Now, tanong nyo, sir, pangit pala itong si greenhouse effect. Hindi hindi maganda. Bakit meron pang greenhouse effect? Or bakit meron pang atmosphere? Kung ganun lang naman na maiinitan tayo. Alright. Just be reminded that greenhouse effect is not bad. This is normally happening right now. Yung greenhouse effect. Alright? Sabi niyo, sir, sir de, sa, dapat sana ay may experience natin init. Ganito po yung effect ng greenhouse effect. no? Si greenhouse effect po ang nagpro-protecta natin sa sobrang lamig. Because pag wala pong greenhouse effect, so meaning, pagpasok ng init, na ipon kay Earth, e sisingaw niya palabas, lumabas until sa outer space yung init. Now, paano pag gabi? If wala pong greenhouse effect at during the night, no, makikita natin na wala pong init, however, meron pa rin init na umaabot dyan sa Earth, meron pa rin, i-release niya yung mga naipon na init na doon sa, sa, ano, sa body ng Earth, may experience natin pag release niya lahat. Pag wala pong greenhouse effect, if there's no greenhouse effect, we will be experiencing extreme cold during the night. And, no, sabi nga dito, greenhouse effect actually is really very important because it maintains the heat, yung tamang init lang sa earth. And then again, it's really very helpful during the night where the sun is not there to heat us up para painitin tayo. Kaya pag walang greenhouse effect, masyadong malamig. Alright? I hope that you get to see the point that greenhouse effect is not bad. It has its purpose of why greenhouse effect is happening. However, let's go now to the next one. Alright? The result of the greenhouse effect is actually the warming of the globe. Without greenhouse effect, global warming, Earth would be very cold. Kaya nga sabi ko, no? Si greenhouse effect is actually there para painitin tayo kasi we are warm-blooded animals or organisms, human, no? And most animals are warm-blooded. Kailangan nating ma-maintain yung init natin. So, tamang init lang po dapat ang ginagawa ni greenhouse effect. Alright? So, pagpasok ng init dito, iipon dito sa lupa ni Earth, tapos isisingaw ni Earth yan through what you call your infrared heat. Now, as it goes, no? And sisingaw ni Earth galing sa lupa niya, tumaas papunta sa atmosphere, some are actually most heat is contained in the atmosphere while some others are actually escaped to the atmo, uh, to the outer space which is uh, totally normal normal po ito however, let's go now no? before going there, while some heat is trapped inside the atmosphere, some heat is reflected back into the space, meron tayong tinatawag na term na albedo, no? or ito yung measure ng reflectivity of a surface Later on, balik tayo doon sa ice na nasa North Pole and South Pole. And ano ang epekto niya? Kung paano nakakatulong yun? And paano dapat natin i-preserve yun na dapat hindi magmelt yun? Balikan natin mamaya. In greenhouse, different materials have different albedo. Light-colored surf surfaces and thick clouds could cover, uh, could have a high albedo. Meaning, pag high albedo, alright? Alam natin when you talk about we had, when we discuss about light when color is light light no like puti yellow mas maliwanag po yung room natin pag ganyan yung kulay ng pintura ng room natin however pag pinturahin mo ng black yung wall ng room mo malalaman mo na hindi masyadong nagre-reflect ang light madilim pa rin kasi black nga so ito po yung yung analogy ng greenhouse effect in terms of different surfaces your light and your dark color. So, si light, bababa po yung albedo kasi hindi po masyadong nagre-reflect ng light yung mga dark surfaces. Alright? So, ano nakita natin dito sa picture the albedo of different surfaces. Different colors have different abilities in terms of... 
Now, let's go now to what you call the effects of your greenhouse. Yung greenhouse natin effect is actually meron tayo kanya, di ba sabi si si uh, atmosphere yung nagko-control para palabas yung iba, pasingaw yung iba to the outer space and some are actually being contained inside the earth para tamang init lang. Right? However, those ones that are actually maintaining that one are actually your greenhouse gases or your GHD. Sila po yung nagtatrap ng init. And major GHGs are what you call your carbon dioxide, your methane, we already have discussed that one before, your nitrous oxide, your ozone, and your CFC or your chlorofluorocarbon. Now, the major contributor would be your, 60% would be your carbon dioxide. Next will be followed by your uh, CFC. Hydrofluorocarbons or F HFCs, no? that the one that you get from your aerosol, yung mga glade na pinasaspray nyo para kwanyan meron silang mga gases dyan para mag, no? trap gas para maitulak yung mga spray na yun. Uh, refrigerants, yung pampalamig po, yung freon na pampalamig po natin doon sa ref natin. Alright, you have your methane, organic waste, different stuff, no? yung, even yung tain ng kalabaw, merong methane yan, nitrous oxide, the rest, alright? So dito po, makikita natin yung effects ng carbon dioxide. No? Increase in the level of carbon dioxide is actually caused by burning fossil fuels. Pabrika, sasakyan, uh, kahit anong makina na nagbubuga po ng mga uh, carbon dioxide. Usually, there are actually effects of mga motorized na mga, mga kano, technology na gumagamit po ng gasolina or fossil fuel. Ang binubuga po niyan ay carbon dioxide. Burning fossil fuel, cement production. Yung mga gumagawa, like whole seam, if you have been in uh, in in La Union, there is whole seam there, yung pabrika ng paggawaan ng semento. Sa paggawa kasi ng semento, yung pabrika na yon, yung makina nila sa pabrika nila are actually using, emitting much of the carbon dioxide for them to be able to create cement. Alright? Intense deforestation and removal of vegetation. As we all know, no plants trees, and other vegetations actually feed on your carbon dioxide. Even human actually emit carbon dioxide. Kaya pag no-overpopulate po, isa tayo sa mga causes ng pag-increase ng carbon dioxide. Na kung walang naglalanghap niyan, just like your your, your uh, trees, your your other vegetations, now what happens is that puro lang buga, walang naglalanghap ng mga carbon dioxide, and that's one of the causes of the increase of your carbon dioxide. Alright? Carbon dioxide is produced more than consumed, as I've mentioned. Now, aside from that, we have your methane. No, methane is actually parang parang uh, flammable gas. It's actually nakukuha natin sa production of fuel, landfills, mining, and agricultural waste. Just like your mga kano, yung mga intain ng mga kalabaw, right? Methane holds more heat than carbon dioxide. Now, as I've mentioned. Still, we're talking about the greenhouse gases. Now, ito yung mga gases. So, huge amounts of methane are stored deep in the ice caps produced by microbes as a byproduct. No mga flagellates and dinoflagellates doon. Cyanobacterias. Alright, cyanobacteria. Naiipon po lahat ng mga methane natin doon sa mga malalamig na area because they live there. However, as the, the, the ice no, melts and nawawala na yung lamig, eh sumisingaw din po yung methane na palabas and goes to the atmosphere. When the ice cap melts, methane is released into the atmosphere as I mentioned. You have your ozone or the ozone layer is actually the one that uh, cannot protect us from the harmful rays of the sun. Its depletion is caused by another greenhouse gas which is your CFC. Kaya nga ngayon, pinagbabawal na po yung paggamit ng mga aerosols and those refrigerators that use CFC para papalamigin yung mga loob natin doon sa ref natin is actually using CFC. And this contributes to what you call a, a, greenhouse, a greenhouse gas which is your CFC that actually sinisira niya pa yung ozone layer. I'll get back to that one later on. So other, ano, other ito, major, so aircon din pala, as I uh, for, forgot, no? sila yung mga nagdi-destroy ng uh, kwa natin carbon uh, ozone layer natin let's go to the next ito i think uh, it's it's better for you to read na lang this one 
Then let's go to this graph here. Nitrous oxide, burning fossil fuel, and agricultural processes, uh, which is actually another uh, greenhouse gas. So, ito po yung breakdown nila. Now, hindi sinabi dito kung anong effect nito. Alright? Balikan natin dito sa greenhouse effect. Dahil sa mga ginagawa ng tao and advancement of technology, which actually has its consequences. So, pag meron pong mga advancement, meron pong yung advantage and disadvantage. Advantage kasi, mas mapapadali yung trabaho. Pag in terms of sa mga transportation, mas madali tayong makapunta from here to there. However, the disadvantage are actually the effects. Let's say, for example, dumami yung sasakyan. Oo, madali ngang dumating doon, pero ano naman yung binubuga natin? Some, some, some sort of that one. Now, no, in the greenhouse effect, you have your greenhouse gases that actually forms in the atmosphere to just let some few heat escape to the atmosphere. However, some others are trapped. Which is actually normal. Pero kasi ang dami ng masyadong carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, chlorofluorocarbon, hydrofluorocarbon, and other greenhouse gases, na, nagtatrap sila more ng init doon sa atmosphere to the point na, yes, papasok yung init, pero nahihirapan yung heat na lumabas kasi nga kailangan nating pasingawan yung iba na para tamang init lang. Ngayon kasi ang kapal na nung greenhouse gas na nasa atmosphere, hindi na nakaka-escape yung init. Ang tendency ngayon, yung mga nasa Earth, ang init na masyado. Dahil dito sa sobrang greenhouse effect na ito, because of the accumulation of too much greenhouse gases, this is now the effect, the effect now, or this is now, the result now is what you call your global warming. Kaya nga sabi, no, tama lang yung greenhouse effect, no? na ipapa mag 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 no? magtrap ng init at ipapasingaw yung iba. Ngayon kasi ang dami ng greenhouse gases sa atmosphere gawa ng mga ginagawa ng tao, advancement of technology, industrialization, pollution. Dapat na sumingaw yung ibang init from no? pagpasok ng init ng sun pupunta sa earth tapos isisingaw ni earth 'yun. Imbes na lumabas at uh, sumingaw yung doon sa atmosphere yung iba, halos lahat na trap. Kaya ngayon ang init-init. So, greenhouse effect per se is good. However, too much greenhouse gases will now, no, uh, parang na-exaggerate yung effect to the point na sobra ng init ngayon dito sa Earth. And that is now what you call your greenhouse, uh, your global warming. Kaya nga po, no, to some point, paano ba natin ito ma ma resolve that will be reserved for the next lesson however i'd like you to witness a picture in jakarta which is actually what happened during this covid-19 pandemic because of the ecq wherein people are not allowed to go out and there is less human activity in terms of factories moving vehicles and uh, some other mga human activities that actually affects this global environmental issue. No? Makita natin yung difference ng before ECQ, which is the top part here, wherein there is smog, no? makapal, makita nyo mga haziness dito sa atmosphere. It's actually your smog. is composed of your carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. Then during the ECQ in Jakarta, nakita natin how clear the atmosphere is. Yan makikita natin at ito yung epekto ng pag clear yung sky natin, hindi masyadong mainit doon. Hindi masyadong nag-trap yung init doon. No? Now, if we're going to question this one, no? sabi natin, o nga, no? during that time na nagkaroon tong pandemic, lesser yung human activity, therefore, nag-start na mag-recover yung earth. Well, no, o, 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 hindi maganda yung epekto ng COVID-19 kasi hindi natin gusto yung mga namamatay ng mga tao gawin ng mga effects na yun or mga uh, yung epekto ng sakit na yan. If you're going to look at the bright side of it, no? Kunting tao, mas tahimik, mas peaceful, 
mas clear yung sky. Mas magandang simoy ng hangin. Now, it boils down to the to the point na sino bang may kasalanan ng pagsira ng earth? Yan po na tanong. No? Ay babalikan natin at sasagutin natin sa next lesson, which is actually your last lesson. So this is the second to the last lesson that we'll be discussing. Now, this time, no? let's go now to the key points. Ito yung sinasabing global warming. Then again, be mindful that the general, most general term is your glo- uh, climate change can be divided into two. You have your ice age and your global warming. One is cold and one is hot. So, ito yun, no? radiation from Dukan. Ito yung story ng greenhouse effect. So, pakibasa na lang. Uh, lagyan natin ng emphasis ito. Yan. So, this will be the one that I'll be sending you. Alright, medyo mahina yung saving. Alright. Alright, let's go now to this one. So, meron tayong mga different greenhouse gases that actually affects and traps heat of the sun no, to escape and not to escape from the earth. Meron din tayong ito. Alright, let's try to see and check your understanding. Right, the material that has corresponding that has na corresponding albedo. So, ito, meron to yung previous na picture doon. Alam nyo yung answer dito. Let's try to see here and challenge yourself. Do you think there will be an, another ice age in the future? I haven't seen this one, but I think already have answered your question. Alright? So, first things first. Piliin mo, anong gusto mo? Mas mainit o mas malamig? Tapos, try mong i- i-way yung kwan, no? i-way yung yung advantage and disadvantage pag masyadong malamig ano yung advantage disadvantage pag masyadong mainit ano yung advantage and disadvantage and try mong i-compare silang dalawa so sino mas matimbang sa yo and this time no try mo sin what if kung dadating tayo ulit sa panahon na yan all right so parang ganun yung ano yung yung takbo ng ng answer nyo dito so ano bang mangyayari is it possible for us to kan to to go back to this another climate change which is called your the, the cold part of the climate change which is your ice age so imagine niyo yung pinapanood yung animation video all right so i think that would be all for today no i hope that you get to understand more about this global warming is because then again i like you to relate this one no? kung meron man akong gustong talagang i-emphasize na mga topics dito sa science natin for grade 8 this is one of the things that I like you to emphasize uh, to be emphasized by your squad kasi tao tayo eh tayo yung nag-coast dito. Kaya in the next lesson, no, let's try to see on how people or how human activities have affected this not so good happening that's happening right now on earth. And even maybe segue natin yung mga nangyayari ngayon for the COVID-19 pandemic. All right, so if you have problems if you have things that you don't understand in this lesson, you can uh, your PM me through Facebook or through the, the messenger of your Creeper. If you have problems logging in with your account, I, uh, please just PM me. I can I can reset your passwords. Um, then again, this is the second to the last lesson. Afterwards, if those people are actually complete with, with this one, with those all those activities that I sent, no, meron tayong 12 uh, topics that I sent uh, in, on the GC by, by your mga core, gr- core group no, na if, kwan, if forward doon sa GC nyo tingnan nyo kung na, natapos nyo ba lahat right? but then again no, uh, I think I'll be scheduling the next lesson on Sunday and I hope that you still continue to learn because we always know that no, life continues to teach us so we don't stop learning right? so without further much ado thank you once again and good afternoon ingat po kayo